Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into types of data. So, broadly, data is categorized into two types. The very first type is qualitative, or we can also call it as categorical data. The second type is quantitative, or we can also call it as numerical data. Now, when we come to qualitative data, here it is again broadly classified as two types. First is the nominal data and second is the ordinal data. When we come to quantitative data, it is classified into two types again. First is discrete data and second is continuous data. Now these is the classification of the types of data. Now we are going to look into all this one by one, starting with nominal data. So let's see what exactly is nominal data which comes under qualitative or categorical data. So here categories without any inherent order or ranking is followed. So whenever in the data set we get some sort of values where there is no ranking followed. Now ranking means importance. So whenever the data points are not superior or inferior to each other, if they inherit equal amount of importance, then in that case it is nominal data. For example, colors, genders, or the different types of fruits. Now you can see that there are several types of colors, red, green, blue, yellow, and so on. But all these colors are having the same importance. They are just different colors. Their names are different, but there is no special importance given to any particular color or any particular color is not inferior or superior to the other. So that is why it is called as nominal data. Similarly, in gender also, the same thing follows as well as in the different types of fruits. So I hope now you have got an idea of what exactly nominal data is. Let's move on to the next type of categorical data that is ordinal data. Now in ordinal data, we have categories again, but this time this particular categories will be having some meaningful order or ranking. That means in this particular categories, there will be some sort of data which will be inferior or superior to each other based on the importance that is given to that particular type of data. So over here, you can see the example education levels. For example, inside this, we can have the education level as high school or college or graduate. Here, you can clearly see that graduate type is having higher importance than college and high school. So here you can see some sort of hierarchy or some sort of order. That is why this is called as ordinal data. Similarly, you can have one more example as customer satisfaction ratings. Now, the ratings can be low, medium, or high. Here, you can clearly see that high ratings accounts for more satisfaction given by the customer. Similarly, low rating will be inferior to this high rating. So, you can see some sort of ranking is followed over here. So, up till now, you might have observed in both the types of categorical data, you have not encountered any numbers. So this categorical data is also called as non-numerical data. There is no numerical values present inside these types of data as classes. So I hope this thing is clear. Do you want to check out this attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contains technical information. Here, I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So, please do appreciate that by watching all those. And if you love it, please hit the follow button. So, now we have seen the two types of categorical data. Now, we'll move on to the next type of data that is numerical data and which is also called as quantitative data. So, under numerical data, as we have seen in the tree structure that First is the discrete data and second one is the continuous data that we are going to look afterwards. But first, let's have a look at the first type that is discrete. So here discrete data consists of separate and distinct values. So first thing we need to remember that discrete data will contain numbers. But now what type of numbers will be there? There will be separate and distinct numbers. You can also say that as whole numbers. So you can see the examples that is the number of people in a household. Now, obviously, number of people in a household cannot be in fractions. So there will be a particular whole number that will be the count of the number of people in the household. Similarly, the count of cars that are present in the parking lot, they also cannot be 
a fraction. It has to be a whole number. So you can see discrete data is some sort of distinct or whole values. So I hope this type of data is clear to you all. Now let's move on to the next type of numerical data that is the continuous data. So this continuous data can take any value within a given range. So basically, whenever you will be given a particular data set in that whichever variable you are trying to focus on, that particular variable will be having some sort of range. For example, in that particular variable, the values will range from 10 to 50. Now in this particular interval, this continuous data can hold the value of any number between this 10 to 50. It can be decimal also. So there is no particular length of gap that will be present between the two neighboring values. For example, it can have the values as 10, 10.5, it can have 10.3. So there is no particular gap between the two adjacent numbers. So that is why they are called as continuous. It can have any value that will be present inside this particular range. The examples are height, weight or temperature. You can see that height can be 170 centimeter. It can be 170.03 centimeter also. It can hold any value, any decimal value or any fractional value also. Similarly, weight. Weight can also be in decimal. It does not have a fixed sort of values that are fixed. Similarly, the value of temperature is also considered to be continuous. So I hope you also have understood the difference between the discrete type of data as well as the continuous type of data. You can see I already have told you discrete type of data contains distinct values which are whole values. For example, number of students in a particular classroom, they can be 10, they can be 20, but they cannot be 20.5, obviously. They cannot be 20.003. It has certain restrictions. It can only be a whole number. But when we talk about continuous values, it can have any value that is specified within a particular range. For example, temperature can be 10 degrees Celsius. It can also be 10.0312 degrees Celsius. So that is why it is called as continuous. So I hope the difference between discrete and continuous is also clear to you all. With this, we come to the end of the video. I hope all the different types of data are clear to you all. If you guys have any single doubt, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram and thanks for watching. Have a good day.